as I said in the prior module that uh, in this module I will briefly explain the 12 chord rules using simple examples and of course the details are given in the notes you can read there and for the simple example I will only use a very simple table with three rows and about three or four columns so that you can understand the concept once you understand the concept then you can understand the details also so the information rule the information rule states that if I change the order of the rows the result doesn't changes I change the order of the columns the result does not changes if the salary comes first and then is the email address and then is the name it doesn't matter right the data which is stored in the cells okay that data should not be separated by commas by space by hyphens the data which is stored in the cell that is it if I store something like this 10 5 or 6 that is not allowed or if I store 10 5 6 that is also not allowed that is the information rule okay then is the guaranteed access rule now I know the table name the table name is employee so if I would like to know the details of a certain employee this is the primary key this is unique this is the primary key so I give the primary key and I give the column names and I give the table name I get the answer it should be guaranteed access that is the example that is how this rule is supposed to be implemented systematic treatment of null in the previous example or the table or the rule over here I showed empty space this is now null is fine this is okay but empty space na not applicable missing value value not available is not allowed there has to be consistency now this null can be there if say for example uh, maybe in, in certain case the email address is not there so you can leave it that is the null uh, and in this case the salary was not mentioned null now null plus zero is not zero is null now in this case say for example if everybody gets a five percent raise right then the employee with the null salary the result will be null but other employees will get the raise that is the systematic treatment of null active and end line catalog there is a certain table in the database you can run the query on that table I believe it's all underscore tab and you get all the metadata about the data de uh, database itself that is the data dictionary you run the same query language comprehensive data sub language rule okay comprehensive data sub language rule I am using a language and that is a query language that is a structured language I can get what I want using the query language view updating rule now what I do is that I create a view instead of writing a query every time that this condition should be met this should be met this should be met it becomes complicated so I create a view and the view you see over here is the view of those employees with salary is shown as null whatever the reason it is irrelevant this is just the representation so I have a table which is actually a view to the end user it's like a table but it's a view so it is the employee underscore null cell right now why is it difficult to implement theoretically if I change make the change in the view it should be reflected in the underlying table or database but usually it's not the case usually when I make the change in the underlying table the view changes okay high level insert update and delete now insert update delete intersection union minus all that should be available to be implemented at a high level okay we are not concerned at the low level and along with this this should not be limited to a row by row basis for example in a large organization we say for example with 10,000 employees right and if there is a management decision that everybody in this salary range will get a 
फाइव परसेंट इंक्रीज एंड देर आर टू थाउजेंड एम्प्लॉयज इन दैट कैटेगरी देन ओनली वन क्यूरी विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड विल अपडेट द सैलरी ऑफ दो थाउजेंड एम्प्लॉयज फिजिकल डेटा इंडिपेंडेंस इट इज इरेलीवेंट वॉट इज द फाइल नेम इन विच द डेटा इज स्टोर्ड इट इज इरेलीवेंट हाउ द डेटा इज स्टोर्ड इट इज इरेलीवेंट वेदर इट्स ऑन अ मैग्नेटिक हार्ड डिस्क और ऑन अ सॉलिड स्टेट हार्ड डिस्क दैट इज द फिजिकल इंडिपेंडेंस दैट आई बिलीव आई ऑल्सो मैंशन इन द प्रीवियस मॉड्यूल ऑल्सो लॉजिकल डेटा इंडिपेंडेंस इट इज इरेलीवेंट हाउ माई डेटा इज स्टोर्ड तो ओवर हेयर द डेटा इज इज ऑलरेडी बायफरकेटेड इन टू टू टेबल्स वन इज दो एम्प्लॉयज विद द सैलरी इज नॉट नल एंड दो एम्प्लॉयज विद द सैलरी विच इज नल so i have these two tables over here this is the logical this is table 1 this is table 2 what the view i am getting what the user is seeing is table 1 and table 2 collectively okay seeing table t that is logical data independence of course that partition of the tables can be vertical also and so on integrity independence okay integrity independence is that for example i would like to add an employee in department number 50 and that department 50 does not exist so that should generate an error that is the integrity independence and there should not be any sh shortcut or any other way to uh, insert that employee in a department that does not exist that would be a violation that is the core spirit of the relational model distribution independence this is the basis of distributed databases my data could be anywhere it could be on any server it could be physically located anywhere okay and it should not be the issue or the problem of the database designer of the user where data is located to that user the data is located in a set of tables and those set of tables may may be giving an impression that they are on the hard disk of the end user and finally the non subversion rule it means that if i run a query to perform an insert or an update that query will only perform an insert and update in the table and only on those at uh, columns for which the query was executed it means that if i am updating the records of certain students their grades it will not change the grades of those students which were not included in the query it means that if i am updating the accounts of my customer who made a deposit it should never ever affect the accounts of other customers who were not listed in the query i believe you understand this more details are in the notes thank you very much